Hi, I'm Laura. I'll be taking care of you today. This is Mr. Smith. He's a 63-year-old gentleman who called 911 today for increasing shortness of breath. He has a history of COPD. His home nebulizers were not helping. Per paramedics on the scene, his O2 sats were about the mid 80s. They did give him one duoneb en route. Mr. Smith, how long have you been short of breath? Three days. And did this come on suddenly? Gradually. Getting worse. Okay. Do you have any chest pain, cough, or fever? No. Okay. So he's got diffuse expiratory wheezing and he's in quite a bit of distress. Let's do a donab and start some steroids. IV dexamethasone, 10 milligrams IV, please. Okay. And do you mind grabbing the telemedicine card and connecting with Rochester Ian? Okay, thanks. Mayo Admission Transfer Center, this is Melanie. How may I help you? Hi, Melanie. This is Tori. I'm calling from uh, the emergency department in Cannon Falls. I need a video emergency medicine consult for a patient with respiratory distress. Okay. And you said you're calling from Cannon Falls? Correct. Let me connect you up with the tele-emergency medicine physician. Okay, thank Hang you. On. I have Dr. Luke with us, Tori. Hi, Tori. This is Dr. Luke. I'm the EM physician in Rochester. How can I help you? Hi, Dr. Luke. Um, I have a 63-year-old male patient with respiratory distress, and we could really use your help. Okay, great. Tori, I'll connect via telemedicine right now. Is okay. the device in the patient's room? It is. Great. See you soon. Thank you. Hello, I'm Dr. Luke, emergency medicine in Rochester. Do you mind just introducing your team? Hi, Dr. Luke. I'm Laura, nurse practitioner, and I have nurses Tori and Lisa here. Mr. Smith is our patient. He's a 63-year-old male, history of COPD, in by ambulance with shortness of breath. On scene, he was hypoxic, mid to low 80s, and came to us in quite a bit of distress, speaking in one to two word sentences, tick up, Nick, and we've given two duo nebs and some steroids, but he hasn't really responded. Okay, I'm seeing that his SATs are between 84 to 85 um, percent. And how much oxygen is he on right now? He's on 10 liters by face mask. Okay. Lisa, do you mind just turning that up to 15 liters? And then Laura, is how responsive is he? Mr. Smith, Dr. Luke, he's quite somnolent. Um, I do have the BiPAP machine in our airway cart, and I'm, but I'm not sure that he's going to tolerate BiPAP. I think we should intubate. Yeah, I think that's the right decision. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, get transport set up, critical care, and you go ahead and get ready for intubation. Sounds great. Do you mind grabbing the kit, and do you mind doing medications? And I'll start the, Sorry, the EM pharmacist here today is Nicole, uh, and she can help you with medication dosing. And then Laura, if you mind setting up the telemedicine card connected to the GlideScope, I can troubleshoot any problems with intubation. Perfect. I have the RSI kit available. What medications would you like? Hi, I'm Nicole, the pharmacist. Um, how much does the patient weigh roughly? About 80 kilograms. I think Atomidate and Rocuronium would be appropriate for this patient. Uh, you can start with 25 milligrams of Atomidate and 80 milligrams of Rocuronium. Okay. Okay, I have the medications available. 25 milligrams of Atomidate and 80 milligrams of Rocuronium. Okay, I think we're ready to intubate. We've got our medications and all of our equipment. The time of date is in. Rocuronium administered. All right, we'll wait 45 seconds after that rocuronium before we intubate. Can you see my view? I can. That's a nice view of the cords. Can you pull my stylet? Thank you. All right, 20 at the lips. Got bilateral chest rise. 
I'll go ahead and call for a chest x-ray. Thank you. Great. It looks like the SATs are 95 to 96 percent, so great job. Does Nicole have a recommendation for continued sedation? What's his blood pressure post-intubation? 135 over 80. I think propofol would be a reasonable option to start. Um, you guys can start at 20 mics per kilo per minute and then increase if needed. Great job, everyone. Um, the helicopter is on its way, should be there in about 15 minutes, and I will call the medical ICU consultant and get him accepted here in Rochester. Great, thank you both.